Today the students were introduced to lesson 7.9 which is fractions and properties of addition and this lesson really was trying to work on mental math and do a lot of it in your head um, but for now we are trying to have them write out each step and eventually we will then take away the writing portion and they should be able to do it mentally. So here's my first example of 3 and 1 fourth plus 2 and 1 fourth plus 4 and 3 fourths. And parentheses normally mean you do that first. Um, but I want to try to find two fractions that um, are going to be equivalent to a whole. So I look through my fractions, I see 1 fourth and I see 3, four, three fourths. And I know, I know that 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is going to get me a whole. So I'm going to use the property of addition called um, the commutative property and I'm going to change the order of these fractions. So I'm going to take 3 and 1 fourth plus 4 and 3 fourths then I will add my 2 and 1 fourth. Um, and then moving to the associative property I'm then going to group these and do them first. So in my head I know 1 fourth plus 3 fourths is going to equal a whole. So in my head I'm thinking, well, 3 plus 4 plus that whole, and then I'll add the other fraction out here. And so I have that this equals 8 plus 2 and 1 fourth, and then you can finish by adding the whole numbers, which would be 10 and 1 fourth as your final answer. Um, I am trying to get the kids to look to see if they need to simplify, and this problem does not need to be simplified. Another example, I have 3 and 3 fifths plus 1 plus 2 fifths. And again, normally the parentheses mean we would do that first, but I see that 3 fifths and 2 fifths is going to get me a whole. So I'm going to use the commutative property and change the order to make it easier to add. So I'm going to add my 3 and 3 fifths plus 2 fifths, and then I'm going to add the 1. So in my head again, I know 3 fifths plus 2 fifths equals 1 whole, plus my 3 is going to give me 4, plus the 1 that I had out here is then equivalent to 5. One more example, 2 and 2 6 plus 4 and 3 6 plus 3 and 4 6. I'm looking for something that's going to be equivalent to 6 6. And I see that 2 6 plus 4 6 will give me 6 6. So I'm going to change the order. 2 and 2 6 plus 3 and 4 6 plus 4 and 3 6. Put my parentheses around what I want to do first. I know that 4 6 plus 2 6 gets me a whole. 1 whole plus 2 is 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6 plus my 4 and 3 6 gets me 10 in 3, 6. Students, do you see anything about the fraction that we could do? They should say, yes, we could simplify. And so you'll have 10, and then 3 goes into 3 and 6. It's a common factor. And so 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2.